once upon a time, on a distant road, in a distant country. No, this is not a Hans Christian Hansen film, nor Walt Disney. This is about life and hard reality. And but you need to apply a good deal of imagination, fantasy, and romance, in particular romance. We are near the top of the little hill here, and there's a crossroad. When you meet a crossroad in your life, and you have a choice, you could go right away. And there are other warning signs too. There. Be careful. Pay attention. Out of forces. You can have severe consequences if you ignore it. Let's go closer and see what happens. We are closer now. <coughs> And a lot of things go by, but you can see over the bow of the hill and get a bit of better understanding what lies ahead. And if you meet such a crossroad in your life and you think, will you go on like this or will you make a bigger decision? And you might come to a decision. You want to hang up your walking gear and tie the knot. And if that's the case, if you want to tie the knot, there have to be laces. And one young lady decided to do that. There. Pair of lady shoes. Yeah, there's not a lot to hang it on here, but there is positive, negative, and down to it. So you have to stand bare feet in the middle of the traffic and have a perfect toe. If you fail, it could be flybys, or even worse, fly goodbyes, or down to it again. But it has to be perfect. Now, there it is. High-heeled shoes hang up. Let's go on and see what happens next. I passed the intersection. And from now on, it's going downhill just very slightly, but it is going downhill. And uh, each power pole have a street light in it. So you can see the lights as you go on. They are light. Plenty of things. And we will go on and have a look and see what happens. We're nearly 100 meters down here. And another sign. Uh, I'm not sure really what the fantasy can get out of that, but something is going to join up here, and the arrow's shown up where that's going to happen. Um, and somebody else had the idea of hanging up his walking gear. This time it's a young dead man's boots, and it's a very thick power line going across there because there's nothing on the other side, so they have combined it. Wow! Above these clouds, and the sky also blue. But it's not going that high. <coughs> anyway, is that a coincidence or not? But now there's two bare feet street kids around here. And, um, well, there are bushes and things around, but otherwise just the road. The street sign. Now let us go on a bit. From here on it goes downhill. 
we come to another sign no brakes well very plain not not much calligraphy involved here but from now on it goes downhill and uh, it's wet and cold and it's another sign that's even more serious still downhill 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 and this sign here well let's have a look Share the road with the children. Wow, share the road. That's all they have. The road. So, we now have to share that with the kids. Oh well, so well. So, but, so that be it. Well, anyway, we still go downhill, downhill, and more downhill. Another sign. Drive around the bend. So let's see now. Some months, or I should say, moments later. Well, here we are. Have to stop. Have to stop. A little bit too far. That's what happens in life. Another intersection, and as we go, let's have a look what's happening in the sky. There, the street light. Would you believe children's shoes? Yeah. And the wire is broken on either side. Well, what else could you expect? Another barefoot secret. I think this guy's mind is vulnerable. I think I think this child will now have to walk in his parents' footprints. My life so far. Wow. What a amphibian story is this. Five. It is now. It's now next day. It has been a wet and stormy, rainfall night, and they've blown down. All we have left, wires broken on either side. That's not good either. But anyway, let's have a look and see if we can find it. Look, leak with a rain and here down here in the gutter they are I have to go down it's steep yeah What a tragic ending in the gutter, wet and cold. Look. Not fit for any street kids' toes. I wouldn't wish that fight.
wouldn't be satisfied on my worst pair of shoes. Even the rubbish tip would be better, at least out of the public side. Now, well, let's try getting in. When I was here yesterday, and uh, a lot of noise and the wind was blowing across the microphone. Very hard to hear what I said. So I will repeat it. What I think. I think. I think the giant smile is wonderful. I think the parents are the role models. And I think now this kid will have to trade in his parents' footprint. And now to the conclusion, the morale of the story. Yes, there is a morale to the story. Back to the beginning. Never buy shoes with laces. Then you can't tie the knot. And you can have no hang-ups. And most importantly, nothing can fall down. So, that is the recipe for happiness. Simple have nil expectations, you will always be pleasant surprised. Bye.